Beneath the world's oceans, a seismic event is occurring. Coral reefs, essential for maintaining marine life and coastal storm protection, are slowly dying in the climate change-fueled warming waters. In tonight's In Depth, CBS's Karen Hua reports from Hawaii on the underwater efforts to save them. Hawaii's coral reefs are changing. Jared Taylor has been diving in these waters for several years and sees it. Sad and disheartening. He showed us the evidence off the coast of Honolulu. Once vivid colors are now gone. It was really colorful probably two years ago, and now it's all bleached white. It's not just Hawaii. According to NOAA, 84% of the world's coral reefs are now under heat stress that can cause bleaching. When the ocean warms, the algae that makes corals colorful are pushed out, leaving them as white skeletons. It's heart-wrenching to see these huge areas, expanses of amazing biological diversity. It's like pulling the plug on a TV and it's just static. It just goes blank. And the recovery is extraordinarily slow to zero. Over on the big island of Hawaii, marine scientist Greg Asner leads the Allen Coral Atlas, a program that maps coral bleaching with the goal of conservation. And unfortunately, wherever you see green dots, there's coral reef that is bleaching today. 2024 was Earth's hottest year on record, on both land and sea, with the average ocean surface temperature hitting 70 degrees. The heat is speeding up coral deaths. Where it used to take years to kill a reef, now it can be weeks, sometimes days. This is the dead part. The ugly part. Ugly part. There are some heat waves where you and I would get in the water, might swim around for a while and actually start sweating in the water. Corals and other species that live on the seafloor are much more sensitive than we are. Compared to Hawaii, the decline is worse in the Great Barrier Reef and Galapagos Islands. The problem is the most severe in the Caribbean and Florida. Reefs also create a natural seawall that can protect coastlines from storms, preventing billions of dollars in flood damage, according to NOAA. So at the end of the day, this is a dire situation, but not all hope is lost. There are some solutions. Underwater nurseries allow coral to repair and regrow. There is also a push to educate tourists to use sunscreens without chemicals harmful to corals. The next gen, the folks that I'm training now, they could be the ones who could see the recovery phase if we get fossil fuels under control. A global effort to preserve life and color underwater. Karen Hua, CBS News, South Kona, Hawaii.